Hello everyone, my name is Dracoman and welcome back to another Redstone video. I am leaving on a trip on Saturday, so I am making this one in advance, so that when I actually leave for the trip, you guys still have a video for when I'm gone and incapable of making videos. I'm doing a Redstone video because they do tend to take less time than making a Let's Play video. Also, you may have noticed a couple different things around me here, and that's because in every Redstone video, or between, between Redstone videos, I'm trying to add little bits and details to this uh, area here before I start the video. So Marty, here is your idea. So you can give this to me whenever I suppose. You got that? Okay, you got that, cool. So what you, what you got for me today? What are we building today? Today we are building... Oh, so, okay, so this is not a machine. We're building fancy lighting systems. So I'm just gonna go through several different ways you can make fancy lighting in Minecraft and then just, just yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm actually... I actually have a couple ideas in mind. Oh, this is going to be fun. Actually. Moving on from Marty, we can go ahead and throw this idea into the trash. Boom. Perfect. And now we move on to this flat world here, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and start right away. So the first thing I want to do is make a lamp. Or, yeah, like a redstone lamp that pops up out of the ground. But I want it to like... Actually, no. Let's not have this pop up out of the ground. Let's have this pop down from the ceiling. So... Oh gosh, I want to light up this space down here, which means what I want to do is I want to pull this block out of the way. So there will be a block right here. I want to pull that out of the way using these pistons here. So that block will end up right here. And then I want another set of pistons. Hmm, this will be interesting. I want another set of pistons to push the lamp to this position right here. So it's sticking out of the ceiling. And then I want it to become powered. So I think I might be able to do that by just shoving a resonant block over top of it. So like a resonant block right, right here, that should work. This means we need a double piston extender right here and then a way to power that double piston extender. Okay, this is gonna be weird. But I do think I have the first part down, which is that. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we move that out of the way and then I want to make it so that as soon as we do, so let's say we get a, t so let's say we get a torch and we put that here so that, so this is off when I flip the lever, but then when I turn this off and that pulls that out of the way, then this will set off this part here. Okay, not really sure what's going to happen here. I set up a monostable circuit so that when this pushes forward, it should just pulse downward, then pull itself back up, hopefully. But I'm not really sure what's going to happen yet. So, okay, just need to add that extra target block there. So if we hit this button here or flip this lever, oh wait, no, if, okay, so that will do that. And then we want this there, I think. Yeah, okay, so that did something. I put the light there. Wait, okay, hold on, let me reset this. See, I'm trying to figure out a way where this won't get powered by anything over here, but it's really hard to figure that out. Okay, so if we flip this lever and retract that, Wait, what? It just worked. Oh wait, okay, well there's an extra one down there, but it worked, that's the point, okay. That's awesome. So now all we need to do, we need to retract this again. That should include powering this column of pistons without powering anything else, which I think this is done, but I feel like the timings are completely off. So let's go ahead and put all this back the way it was, power this, and then try powering, or unpowering this one more time. Oh, what went wrong there? That was so bad. Okay, I think with this really compact monostable circuit, we should be able to see everything working properly, assuming that is right there. Okay, so because, and I added this because there are going to be two pulses going through this because this repeater is going to turn on and off, and then that will go through this twice. So we need this to go down once, and then on the second pump, it goes up again, so that these only power once the second time. So... I think that made sense. Let's go ahead and try this out. Ah, it's still too soon. Also, they fired another time again. That was kind of weird. We need to fix that. Ugh. Oh, you know, I actually think I figured out where everything was wrong, and that's because I was trying to power this column of pistons by detecting the firing of a dropper that was right here, but this was firing whenever this got powered, this block here, which means it powered way sooner than I wanted it to, and that messed a lot of things up. So... Uh, okay, I know what wrong. I know what went wrong now, and I know how to fix it. 
think. So I'm gonna try and get to that. Okay, I've got another system down. These uh, these two uh, droppers here are no longer touching this wool, so nothing should go wrong. But stuff might still go wrong. But we'll see. So if we unpower this, yes, yes. Oh, that's awesome. So now what we need to do is actually something really simple, which is push this block out of the way, replacing it with a redstone block. Oh gosh, and then powering this part of the system again, this part right here, so that we push the redstone block back in place. No, 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 we don't actually have to power this whole system. We just have to power this piston, and that will push the redstone block over top of the lamp. So if we, for example, put that there, and then went ahead and powered this piston right here, I don't think that should power anything else. No, it shouldn't. If we do that, ah, uh, there's no quasi-connectivity with these things, are there? Dang it. Okay, so we do, in fact, have to power the whole system, which is a drag, but I think I just found a way around the drag. So my idea is to make this thing pulse so it will push the piston, or push the redstone block into there, and then, oh wait, this is gonna pulse way too soon, hold on. Okay, that should be plenty of timing. So basically this is going to pulse forward, pushing the redstone block out in place of that cyan block. And then we are going to make it so that this system pulses right here, actually not there. So we're going to, oh gosh, this is actually a little bit complicated. We need some glass. Okay, so when I power this, it should, Nice, it gets that part done. And then turn that on. That turns the light on, that's awesome, great. I just had a genius idea that I feel stupid for forgetting, but basically everything I just created here is essentially useless because I just had another genius idea. Hold up, so let me extend this out. So my other idea was to just create a giant block swapper. So basically what I plan on doing is this piston will fire and it will grab that block and then we will also have these two blocks up here, preferably separate those so that we don't get them mixed up. And then what we'll do is we'll power this. We will extend this piston extender and then we'll power these two and extend that. And that will turn the light on. And then we'll grab that. We'll have to use this to push that out of the way. We will extend the, oh. Oh, so we need to do this. We need to actually pull that resonant block out of the way. And then we'll be grabbing the lamp just like that. We'll extend that and we'll pop that back down just like that. Okay, cool. But I did realize that just changed the order of some things, so. Oh wait, this actually this actually helps. So we can just Oh wait, okay. So we need to turn this off. Turn that on. Push that down. Push that over. Push that down. Dude, this actually made things a lot simpler. Okay, we've got a solid plan down. This thing actually works a lot better than this one does. And it's a lot less complicated for sure. Hopefully. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> I can't believe it. These don't even need to be there. Those are completely useless at this point in time. Okay, so I've got the first part down, which is this. So that will pull that block up. Progress, hooray. <laughs> okay, I've got two steps down, which is, I think I've got two steps down now. So if we do that, and we do this. Nope, I, nope, okay, I know exactly what went wrong there. Now I'm pretty sure I've got the two steps down. So if we hit this. <laughs> do not ask me what noise just came out of my mouth. Oh, why, why? Why is this not firing? Yes, okay, now I have done it. So basically what I just did is I managed to push these over at just the right time so that that happened. So now what we need to do is push this piston, make this piston fire once, and then fire this double piston extender and then make this piston fire again. And then that should make the whole thing work. I want to test something, which I'm not really sure is going to work. Okay, that worked well, and then if we unpower this, that happens, which is interesting. And now it's even more interesting. All right, let's test this. Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh, yo, whoa. And then that would happen. Oh, dude, the retraction would actually already solve several problems. Ooh. Hold on, let's see. What happens if we retract it? Okay, that's kind of weird, but we can work with it. Actually, no, I don't want to work with that. So I've switched up a couple things and let's see what happens if we test it now. <laughs> nope. Okay, so I'm now working on retraction and I'm not sure what's going to happen with this circuit here, but it should turn on as you can see with that torch there. Once I, once I unflick this lever, then this torch will turn on and hopefully push the redstone out of the way just in time. Nope. Okay, we need to fix it. Ooh, okay, so I added just one tick to this repeater here and it actually pushed the redstone out of the way, which is great. Also, this is back here which is also great because now what we can do is we can activate the double piston extender which will grab this lamp here and pull it up and then we can just one tick this this piston here which will push the the which will push the lamp and the redstone block back to their original positions and it will push this block right there and then we can just one tick this which will push that back there and then we're done. Oh, I just reached a point where we've actually retracted the lamp into the ceiling. And all we need to do now is tick this and then tick that and then we're done. Okay, let's go through the whole thing once and see the whole thing actually work. Okay, so here it goes. So we hit this, that comes out incredibly quickly, may I sit in the head. And then we hit that, all that happens. With a f I, f I feel like there's a bunch of extra piston firing, but whatever. Um, now my question is, can we get rid of this? This was meant to get rid of some piston, extra piston firings, but I honestly feel like it's not doing that much, that I think it would probably be fine if we just got rid of it. So, let's try this. No, that actually did help. Okay. Very well, we will keep that then. All right, so I've added this one tick pulse here, so this should be good to push the ceiling back into the place, but I feel like the timing is just a little bit off. So that all works just fine. And then, okay, yeah, the timing is just a bit off. We need more timing, which is a little bit hard to get in this situation. Yes, okay, it worked. So let's go ahead and actually put this here. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the whole thing working. So here we go with all that, and then it gets pushed over. The next part's easy. All we have to do is do that, and then slip this right there. And that's it, the whole thing's done. Except it totally wasn't, and I had, all, I had to add all of this to actually make it work. But as you can see, when I come down here, and actually I think we're just gonna go ahead and cover everything up quick. There we go. If I come down here and flip this lever, the light comes down, which is just awesome, and it actually comes out really fast, which I really appreciate. And then if we flip this lever again, it turns off and then gets retracted into the ceiling, which then replaces it surprisingly quickly as well. That's awesome. Oh, this thing has actually turned out much better than this one did. Obviously, this one is far less complicated than this one. In case you didn't get that, that was a joke. That it's it's much more complicated, oh my word. Okay, my next project, which is much simpler than this thing is just to be able to um, take these lanterns or these these lamps and turn them on but like in a row so like if I click this button here then this will turn on and then it will go around all of them will turn around or turn on in a circle until it gets back to this first lamp here and then if I hit this button again then it will do the opposite this lamp will turn off it'll go around turning all of these off until we get back to here again and then the whole room will be dark. Now, I'm pretty sure that these lamps actually stay on after they've been powered for just a little bit of time. So if we need this, yes, oh, perfect. So these actually stay on if these two are just going wacko with it, which means that if we just had two of them going wacky and we had like a line of redstone underneath these, then all we'd have to do is just just make the line of redstone just like on a on an observer clock and then we'll be good to go actually no this doesn't work because then all of them will just turn on all at once which i don't want i want them to turn on individually so in, with that in mind we'll have to do this 
and then be observing them like this. I think that should work because then if we do this, oh yes, yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Awesome, okay, so let's go ahead and get a sticky piston with that there and then uh, some sort of monostable circuit we'll have to squish in here somewhere. Wow, that's pretty cool. So if we go ahead and hit this button here, the lights go up around just like that. I kind of wanted to see the lights though. Oh, that sounds really annoying. Um, oh, is there a way that I can be able to see the lights? All right, put slabs around, although I really didn't need to because I could have just gone into this, into this perspective here. So if we click this button here, nothing happens. That was weird. But there we go. We have the lights and they spun around, so that was awesome. And then by hitting it again, we turn everything off just like that. I am very happy with this thing. This is awesome. <laughs> Holy cow. And now that we're in the dark, we can actually see what this one does. So if we hit the switch, the light comes out with a very blinky, but actually that works really well. I like that. And then you can turn it off and we drag it back to the ceiling really quickly. I love that. Okay. This thing is actually pretty cool. I like this one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Aw. Oh, it has to be a two shot. Fine. Yeah. Nice. I kind of had another idea, which was to like have lights like turn on as you walk past them, which I think is really fun. So I just set this up, this like quick setup up here with just trip wires, but I kind of want to make it automatic so that like as you walk, like you could step on pressure plates because the sound it makes is so annoying. I really don't want the sound. So I kind of just want to make it so that when you walk past it or like like you step on like pressure plates at the beginning and then they just time perfectly so that they turn on as you walk past them so let's go ahead and start trying on that i guess very strange zoom up on the back of my head so the problem i'm gonna have with this one is that when i step on the pressure plates they are going to gradually light those up. Oh, actually that happened really quick um so actually so yeah so we'll just have to extend the pulses for these each time we go but the problem is, I don't want to have to like go back every time we go forward. So like it's one, two, three, four, and then five ticks, but I don't want to do that. But I think if we had like the rest of these on a four tick from like right here or something, then we could just like start over or something. So, ah, that's going to be complicated actually. Actually, I think I'm figuring it out fairly easily. So if this was on four ticks, and that's on four ticks, then if I put this on a one tick and connect this up, oh gosh, then this right here is now on a five tick. Yeah. So then we can just put these along right here and then do the same thing over again. Um, like this, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so in case I didn't explain that very well, what's happening is this redstone is coming around over here. It's going into this block here, which is powering this repeater, but then we couldn't have it connecting with this redstone, otherwise we just have a constantly powering circuit here. And so I added four ticks here to make sure the rest of these were on four ticks as well. And then we had the redstone loop around here and go to a one tick, so now this one is five ticks because we're adding one plus four. And then two plus four is six ticks, three plus four is seven ticks, and so on. And then we just add another four ticks here for the rest of these so that we can increase it even more. Now, hopefully the timing is right. I might have to slow it down some in order to get it right, but... Oh gosh, yeah, that's fast. Uh, that's really fast. I don't know if I like that. It's running. If I run, am I going the same speed as the lights then? No, not even when I'm running. Oh wow, that's really fast. Okay, so we need to slow that down significantly. Actually, it kind of makes me feel a little bit better about it because it's like it's like I'm walking into like a really magnificent palace or like a like a uh, what would you call them like a like I don't know the the place where you go to see musicals or something like I feel like I'm walking down a really important aisle or something. It makes me feel. Important. I feel like we've covered a lot in this video, so if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below, and if you really enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing. And also join my Discord server if you want to suggest video ideas, because I am, you know, it, it, it's kind of hard to do it all myself, but 
I really would appreciate the support. Anyways, see you guys next time.